New Hampshire House Speaker Dick Hinch of Merrimack will be remembered for how he lived. A tireless leader, an incredible advocate for his community, um, and uh, he will without a doubt be very, very sorely missed. But right now, how he died is serving as a cautionary tale. The 71-year-old Republican lawmaker died unexpectedly Wednesday of COVID-19. Really just a stark reminder unfortunately that this virus really doesn't care if you're in a long-term care facility or if you're an elected official. State health officials are conducting contact tracing. The speaker's death comes after in-person events with other lawmakers. House and Senate Democratic leadership are requesting testing availability for legislators and staff who were potentially exposed. Any of the events, whether it was the, the caucus or the organization day or individual meetings or whatever it is, anyone that was that may have come in contact with anyone known to have COVID, or, or they have any concerns, I think, you know, folks should definitely go get tested. Officials are not releasing information about whether Speaker Hinch was tested before his death, and they're not saying when his first day of symptoms started. The governor says state leaders are speaking with health officials to see if additional precautions need to be taken in the House and Senate offices. Everyone should be concerned, whether it's it's in the workplace at the State House or workplace at administrative services or workplace at Fred's Flower Shop. Dick's passing is, is a, I think a real, uh, as tragic as it is, as, as heartbroken as we all are, it really is a warning sign that we are far from over this. Health officials say as with any other contact tracing they perform, nothing will be made public unless they are unable to identify close contacts on their own. Reporting in Concord, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.